Hey guys, in this video we'll show you how to use Tutor LMS email notifications. You'll see how to enable and customize emails that will be sent from your Tutor LMS powered website. So we're here on our Tutor LMS powered websites dashboard. After you install Tutor LMS, ensure that you have Tutor LMS Pro because the email notification is a premium add-on of Tutor LMS. After you purchase Tutor LMS Pro and add in your license, then Go to the add-on section and over here simply scroll down and find the email add-on and enable this. So after this you can simply go to the tutor LMS section and from here you can click on settings. And when you're here you can see there's an option over here that says email. So you can click on it and you can see this is the email notification area. So the first two options the default configuration and manual email so we can click on the default configuration here we can um, upload our email logo and select our color option for the body email body primary button secondary buttons button position and the sender email address and finally we can customize the email footer text as well so let's go ahead and uh, see what all these are so this is the email logo. By default, you'll have the Tutor LMS logo set over here. You can click on this Upload Image button and select a logo for your site. Okay? So after you select a logo, you can also choose the position. So it's currently um, aligned to the left. You can align it to the middle, to the right hand side, wherever you want. Okay? Then you can also determine the height of the logos. For example, if you increase this, if you increase this, you can see that it also increases. Okay, but we're going back to 30 as it was looking better. Okay, you can also uh, set the alt text to this image as well. So you can say, instead of this, you can say site logo. Okay, so you can set your alt text here. Again, you can also choose the color option. So for an email, the white color, this is actually good. You can click over here and then select any color you want. You can see the color is changing. Okay, but I think that white color is the best. And same goes for the header divider as well. You can choose any color you want. For the email body, you can also choose the color of the background, the email title, email text, email bold text, and also the footnote text. You can change all these colors. So let's see if we can change the email title. If we click over here, okay, so we can change it to blue. You can see that the color is changing, okay? And for the email bold text, you can also change that. Also the footnote, okay? So you can change and customize all of this. So if we change the footnote, you can see it changes as well. And for the primary buttons, uh, the button background, button hover color, the text color, you can change all of these. After that, you can also look at the sender email address. So the email will be sent from this email address, okay? And the name of the sender will be shown here along with the footer text over here. So you can also change the footer text if you want. After this, you can send a test mail to see if everything is working perfectly. So we will check this out later on. Another thing that I wanted to show you is the email preview over here. So it shows you the preview in desktop or in mobile view. Okay, so you can see how your email will look in mobile devices. After this, we can click on save changes button to save all our changes and then go back. After this, we can see the manual email. Here we can see it says create and send emails for custom events to specific recipient types. Okay, so we can click on the compose manual email and here you can see that you can compose and send email for custom events. Okay, you, from here you can uh, select the receiver type. So if we click on the drop down, you can see um, who will receive our email. Everyone, including students, instructors and admins. All students, all instructors, all admins, all students who completed any course and any of these options you can select. So we chose the all instructor and here you can see that one receiver found with the selected criteria. It's also detecting how many instructors you have on your website. Okay. And from here you can see the email subject. It says greetings from the this site. Here will be your site name. And here you can see in the email heading it says hi there. You can choose whatever you want. Then the email body here you can type in your email. 
and also you can customize the footnote. If we scroll down, you can see we have the color options for the body header, email body, and primary button. And we can also choose what will be shown in this button. We can choose a link for this button, where this button will direct the users to. We can also choose the position of the button. Okay. So after setting this up, you can also um, view it in your mobile devices and then send a test mail to see if everything is working. Again, here is a message that you can read. It says to use manual email functionality, you need to activate the tutor email Chrome schedule settings. Please enable Chrome scheduling. If we click over here, enable Chrome scheduling, it's going to take you to this setting. So this is the same page. We just went one step back. And here you can enable this WP Chrome for bulk mailing and save changes. Now you can use the manual email link. You can see the notification is gone. Now you can uh, choose your manual email and then click on save changes to save and save everything. Okay. Okay. So now what kind of email notification do we want to send to our students, teachers and admins? So the first section is the email to students. The next section is the email to instructors. And the next section is the email to admin. Okay. So what kind of emails would you want to send? For example, here it's written course enrolled. So if a student enrolls to a course and you want to send them an email notification welcoming to the course. So we want that to be a notification. So we have enabled this. And like this way, you can enable any of these events for which the students, teachers or the admins want to be notified through email. Okay. So let's check out an email. So for this course enrolled, if we click on edit, we can actually edit the email. So here you can see the subject is over here that says you are enrolled in a new course. So you can customize this text and write whatever you want. Okay. In the email heading, you can also write you are enrolled in a new course. You can see this is over here. You can customize it any way you want. And in the additional content in the email body, you can see it says welcome to the course, the most popular and modern server at site URL. Happy learning. Tutor LMS supports many short codes to customize email notifications with dynamic values. You can find out more about this from their official website. We've provided the link in the video description. Okay, we want to send a test email to see if it's working. So after everything is done, we can click on the send a test mail button. And then we can also choose an email address where this uh, test mail will be sent to. So if you're confirmed, you can click on the send button. And you can see success, a test mail for course enrolled has been sent to the admin. So if we go back to our email address, so we have logged in to our email address and we can see that the email function is working perfectly. So after this, we can click on save changes and that is how you can enable your email notification and also customize your email template. So we hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos. See you in the next video. Take care.